Hello guys, welcome back to Dragon Age Origins, the Warden Arc with the Blight Quest, uh, whatever, I think it will, Blight Quest, I'm calling it the Warden Arc on YouTube, but it is very much the Blight Quest. Um, we are currently in the Nature of the Beast, or the, the Dalish uh, quest line, where we are trying to find Witherfang and hopefully come to a, a peaceful resolution regarding this whole uh, this whole issue um, fortunately so far we've been pretty unlucky but our luck might start to turn we'll just have to uh, have to wait and see is this an elven place did the elf live underground just like the dwarves Okay, so secret door. Oh, we love secret doors. Hmm. Someone died coming down here. That does not speak uh, greatly for the rest of us. That is fine. Uh, my question is, is where does everything lead? Ah, okay, so that leads into the lair of the werewolves. That would explain why they were allowed to come down the still bear and we were not. There's nothing down there. And there are sparklies down here. So we've got a lesser injury kit from that one. And I am mostly worried about spiders. They had me, um... They froze me. I mean, of course they did, but I think they did it again. Give me your life. So we can upgrade Nerio, which I think we will do. We want more magic. And revival, I think. Now, how much gold do we have? Four gold pieces. And we're stuck again. There's so many gosh darn spider webs. All oh, right. All useful. All useful. Going. What now? Liliana, can you open that? Yes, you can. Level twelve and twenty-two cunning. Oh, your cunning's currently at twenty-three, so I don't know why it's complaining. 
but it is. Uh, you're only on your way to to level 11. So I am just kind of looting everything because I mean. means that we can get more money in the long run which is never a bad thing in my opinion and I think there's something ahead. that's a dragon Trap right ahead Rest of the party, hold Hello. still. Ow. Trap right ahead. Oh, alright, so that's where the bad guy is. Um, I'm not liking how this is hitting. Can we like revive Liliana? with potion So, Alistair, upgrade your dexterity. No, I think we're fine. Well, I mean, aside from people deciding to run across the obvious booby traps, but that's all good. Allow me, I could do that. Not for you. Right. Going. Whoa. That was just a lot out of nowhere. That's fine, I'm okay with that. Let's Deeper uh, into the... Huh. More of these? Well, alright then. Oh. 
Stonk. Just uh, take all of your goods. Um, I want you to do that. Uh, okay. I'm off. Drink the push. More potion. Just take all the Going. goods off of all of you. Huh. There's a lot of people who have just on my way died in here, and that makes me worried. All right, let's keep moving. Oh, okay. I'm not even surprised at this point. Uh oh. Um, Alyssa could probably use. Oh, what are we doing? Alyssa, help! Um, help Alistair. <laughs> uh, I 
get away with dropping a health politics on you. take one you take one and from there I think we're fine to have a potion. Oh. Kill the entire team! Yeah, that's what we want. <sighs> okay. And then Lyrian potion. Damn. That was uh, something else that almost just entirely wiped us out. Go ahead. I wonder if you'll appreciate Fancy Scroll. Oh, marvelous. Nice. The Elven Ritual. Okay. Chad Corpse. Lisa Injury Kit. I am ready. Uh, you can do the chest. Which gives us an X. We are quickly running out of uh, places where we can put stuff. Actually, so you probably need more willpower. Oh yeah, definitely more willpower. Oh jeepers. Okay. Uh, this definitely looks like it leads somewhere. The water in the pool appears cool and clean. It is refreshed from some internal source, perhaps magically. Submerged in the water is what appears to be a small earthen jug. We are going to take the earthen jug. You take the jug out of the pool. It is made of clay and appears to be none the worse, none the worse for its long submersion. I'm going to fill the jug with water. You dip the jug into the water until it fills up completely. The water appears normal, dipping your hand into it, it is cool to the touch and is definitely circulated by some unknown force. Okay, so slowly you spill the water out of the jug back into the pool. As soon as the jug is empty, it suddenly shatters and the pieces drop inside. So that's what we were supposed to do. Oh no, it is a shade. We're just going to uh, explore the rest of this 
This is what adventurers do, right? Casually desecrate um, grave sites of long dead. Oh, come on. But yeah, this is what adventurers do, right? Desecrate, um... Everything. <laughs> okay. You need help? Are you lost here, spirit? Uh, that doesn't sound good. That didn't sound good. Go over there. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, that hurt. Uh, no, don't destroy it. Give it to me. Okay. Burial chamber. Shagonaut plate armor. The mage's treasure. So we may not have been the first here, which wouldn't surprise me. Uh, but it looks like there are other bits of armor scattered around the Priscillian forest, so maybe we can have a look into that at some point. Um. Uh, We are, however, at the half hour mark, so I think well, I was going to say we could just leave it here, but obviously that's not going to happen because there are people who need to die. Some Lyrium would probably help. 
And Liliana, you can get your ass out of there would also help. Because I'm about to do this. Honestly, I wonder if they'll ever learn. Three huh. silverite. This elaborate artifact has a gem like structure that contains what appears to be blood, fresh and liquid even after all this time. The gem is vibrating slightly. Touch the gem. <laughs> The gem is warm to the touch, and your mind immediately begins swimming with visions, images and memories from a life not your own. The presence in the gem is at first alarmed when it senses your touch. It recoils in fear. The images that rush your mind are ones of imprisonment and loneliness. I am sorry. I do not mean to frighten you. The presence calms and then is racked with indecision. Rather than have you leave, it begs you stay. More images flash through your mind. Time that the presence has spent trapped within the life gem. Time where the presence has slept, gone mad, and then slept again. The presence has no name. I can remember. You get the sense of an elf, a mage in glittery silver armour. But this was long ago, remembered as though a fog. Is there anything I can do for you? There are no images for a time, only a feeling of keening loneliness, a sense of being trapped in a mind that is only tenuously present any longer. The presence will give you what knowledge remains within it for how to become an arcane warrior. You could become one yourself or teach the knowledge to other mages if you choose. This is all the presence has left to offer any longer, the last of its memories. In return, the presence asks only one thing from you, oblivion. How would I give you the release you seek? The images that come are faint and uncertain. You see a stone altar and the life gem placed upon that altar. The life gem then vibrates and explodes, destroying the presence within forever. The yearning that follows this image is keen and almost hopeless. Yes, I will try to help you. The images become tinged with desperation. The presence cannot remember where the altar is, but it knows that the life gem must be placed on it. Approach the stone altar with the gem. As the life gem nears the altar, the presence becomes overcome with emotion. Could its endless nightmare finally be over? The images that are sent to your mind depict a clear question. Do you still wish to learn the skills of the arcane warrior? The presence is ready to teach you now. Yes. Give me your memories. The memories flood into your mind. They are hazy and incomplete, but enough for any mage to gather, to gather a few talents that the arcane warriors once possessed. Now the presence asks that you keep your promise, release it from its internal prison. Place the artifact on the stone altar. 
the last images from the presence are ones of a joy. Oblivion will be a welcome relief. And we have Arcane Warrior. Always a useful skill to have. Okay, so I was saying before that we were going to leave it there. Um, uh, huh. One never expects creatures like those, really. Oh, right. Okay, so, yes, we're going to leave this episode here. Um, we are now in the lower ruins of the, uh, I believe it is the, Elven Tombs. Um, so, yeah, we have desecrated a ancient burial site we've helped free a spirit from uh, a trapped from a prison an internal prison within a gem and we are slowly making our way towards the werewolf's final layer um, in the next episode i think we'll complete the nature of the beast quest line and hopefully by doing this we will come to a peaceful resolution regarding uh the 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 curse inflicting the werewolves and the dalish's hunters until next time though keep being awesome everyone <laughs>